Good Saturday morning, everybody. It is I, Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic, and we are watching The Wild and Woolly Hair, a cartoon that's hard to find. And it's the first Saturday of the month, and that means I'm joined by a guest, and that guest is our good friend Matt Hunter of Golden Age Cartoons, and Matt while he chose this cartoon, he could not have picked a harder one for me to find. Thanks a lot, Matt. <laughs> Jesus. Well, yeah. Well, it, it used to be uh, a, a Saturday morning staple, albeit heavily edited. Yeah. Uh, and finding an uncut copy that doesn't look like it's been played through a VCR so many times, it's murky. You know, it's it's hard to find. Yeah. Uh, and you'll see why. It's it's. It's an extremely violent cartoon. It's let's, like guns going off and people getting uh, shot on. in the face. And, and this. <laughs> him never meet up with me, Injun Joe. Yeah. Come. And also, I want to point out in the dialogue here, this <laughs> this very often cut gag may actually be the world's first hold my beer joke. <laughs> hold my <laughs> beer. Here, hold him beer. Now we see who swing the fastest gun. <laughs> so much for that. Yeah. Yeah. Sam. I get Sam. more free beer this way. <laughs> <laughs> and these are all Holly Pratt designs. These these characters. This is all. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, this is far. <laughs> not to knock him, but I do I do a fairly good job of knocking Frizz, and and it's a it's a. It's it's not in Frizz's ability to make such interesting looking standalone yeah. characters in the background. That one guy with the two eyes close to his head. Yeah, that's funny. This is uh, Virgil Ross here. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, him. And that's like the the you know the quintessential Yosemite Sam entrance. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and this and this little piece of of footage here gets used a lot. Whenever yeah. they, whenever they have something where they have to, you know, like a, a TV, like a, a broadcast or a news story or something, and they want to show, you know, the characters being themselves in like a soundbite type thing. That's yeah. almost always yeah. this one they pick for Sam. Yeah, yeah, but you don't ever see the cartoon in in complete form anymore. No. And no. and in fact, right here, this gag uh, was oh, was yeah. shown on TV, but they cut it. In fact, they actually reanimated it back in the eighties. Yeah. So that uh, in in fact, I think that's the version that's in the movie in yeah. the Looney Looney Bugs Bunny movie, where yep. instead of shooting Sam in the face, uh, Bugs shoots a shoots the can and plugs it with holes into it. Yeah. Yeah, plugs it with corks and. That's still funny. Yeah. But it's it's censorship's just the same. It's and not I, as I, funny though as as I'm getting shot no. in the face. Come on. Let's no. be fair. <laughs> let's be fair. No. As a kid I knew that was funnier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, here it goes. Let's let's watch it. Gee, that's tough. But I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. See, that that's a much more of an impact of a yeah. Of a of a laugh, we would we would have that would have been an oh I see kind of laugh with the uh, with the corks oh I, uh, yeah and and props to to uh, sound man uh, and film editor Treg Brown he must have had to pull out every gunshot sound effect he had mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he probably had to go to a gun range and record it or something because that's a real gun it's yeah. you're hearing you know <laughs> I mean he probably got that from the Warner's sound library like just that. yeah probably like for all the western movies they made <laughs> and part part of this is is because for a long time in the in the 50s freeling deliberately miscast yosemite sam to be funny like he made him a a pirate and a roman and a a, a hessian and a confederate soldier who didn't realize the civil war was over yet <laughs> yeah. uh you know stuff like that, but he was originally envisioned as a cowboy. Yeah, and this was kind of a return to form. And he did this, and then a, a year or two later, he did kind of a companion piece called Horsehair, uh, which is is similarly hard to find, but but similar. In fact, I think uh, there, in in his book, Jerry Beck calls this gunfight at the UPA Corral. Yeah, uh, because of the design, it's so flat and you know 1950s ish. Yeah. Uh, but the you know he started doing a couple more Western cowboy Sam cartoons just to remind us I think that hey he's a cowboy. <laughs> Speaking of of Jerry, um, Jerry did. I want to give him kudos. Jerry did try very very hard to get me uh, a copy of this cartoon that didn't look like crap, um, and this isn't it. Um, and for all of you that are noticing how bad it looks, 
<laughs> just know <laughs> if, if I'm picking this one, you know, Still fun. again, thanks. Thank you, Jerry, for, for looking and everything. And he, he digitized his own personal copy, but it was, it wasn't very good, unfortunately. But yeah, this is definitely a cartoon that absolutely, and first of all, if you want to get a glimpse of what it might look like restored, you could uh, either see it in uh, how Bugs won the West or how Bugs Bunny won the West because there's clips in it that you know in that that look okay, and the ultimate one is the one you mentioned, Matt, uh, Looney 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 Bugs Bunny movie. Yeah, it looks gorgeous in that. I, yeah. I don't know why you know why we don't have a full restored version of it on DVD as iconic as it is, yeah. but. You know. It's it's really weird too to me when you find when when you can find a cartoon that's in really good condition but you can't find the lobby card, but in this uh -huh. case it's the exact opposite. I can f I found so many copies, you know, from good to great of the lobby card for this cartoon, uh -huh. the cartoon not itself. The cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you'll know. Uh, Trivia: Each Warner Brothers cartoon had two different lobby cards. Yeah, um, there were two. There was uh, there was one, and then there was a variation. And I, I don't know what the was that you know of, was that for all of them. I think so. I think for all of them, hmm. going back to the '30s. Um, anyway, I, I think maybe some of the early Boscos only had one. But anyway, one too many. <laughs> one too, ah, ma one too many, in my opinion. <laughs> all right, man. Well, thanks for sitting in with us, and folks, we will see you next week. Oh,